A new report says California needs to change how and where it builds new homes, not just to address the housing crisis, but to prevent towns that are in danger of being wiped out by fires. And the latest U.S. drought monitor just released hours ago. I'll pinpoint where exceptional drought is expanding in California and where we stand here in San Diego. After a year behind a computer screen, San Diego high school seniors getting their moment in the sun, walking the stage at Petco Park. ABC 10 News at 11 starts now. ABC 10 News at 11 starts now. Thank you so much for joining us, you guys. I'm Virginia Cha. As you know, summer is right around the corner, but temperatures are already on the rise, and that is raising concerns across California. This morning, we have team coverage. ABC 10 News meteorologist Megan Perry has the latest on drought conditions across the state and in San Diego and how that's affecting wildfire risk. And reporter Jared Ahrens is going to break down a new report that suggests California could be putting new homes in harm's way when it comes to wildfires. We're going to get to that in just a moment, but let's start with Megan. So Megan, we didn't get a lot of rain this winter and now we are seeing the effects. That's right. And the rain that we saw here last year definitely is helping us out with the drought, but the rest of California really didn't get the rain that we saw, especially in April of last year. If you recall, we got a lot of rain late in the season. So what you're looking at on the left is today's latest U.S. drought monitor. That dark red is the worst category of drought, that exceptional drought, which expanded in Northern California and parts of Central California. What you're looking at at the right is when the water year began. It wasn't great in California, but it was a whole lot better. In fact, most of San Diego wasn't even at a drought. So how did we get here? So, so far to date, our water year begun, begins on October 1st. We've only picked up a four and a half inches of rainfall. Normally we've seen closer to nine and a half inches. So our deficit is over five inches where we should be. And this is a new yearly average that we have. If you recall just a few months ago, the latest U.S. climate normals came out and our San Diego County area is trending drier than it used to. Our yearly average used to be 10.34 inches. Now it's 9.79 inches, a trend that is going to be continuing as climate change gets worse. So how do we get here as far as the drought monitor goes? So this is October 1st. This is that image that I showed you on the right just a second ago. As I fast forward it, you can see it slowly gets worse. And this is from last week. And then you can see exactly where the exceptional drought expanded in Northern and Central California as I push it into to this week, the extreme drought also, that red and dark red color is getting a whole lot worse farther to the north of us. Virginia? Okay, thank you so much for that, Megan. Meanwhile, we've already seen a handful of small fires around San Diego this spring, and fire officials are worried fires like that could turn into disasters under the right conditions. Well, a new report out this morning has found those conditions are already in place. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Ayers has details on that report, which says California is getting it all wrong when building and rebuilding after wildfires. That report out of UC Berkeley says we need to start thinking about wildfire danger and the housing crisis as the same issue. The more our cities sprawl into areas that used to be wildland, the worse the fires are going to get. We keep talking about the fire problem as if it's just a fire problem, but it, it's much more than a fire problem. Professor Robert Olshansky from UC Berkeley's Next 10 Think Tank says it's time to rethink how and where we build and rebuild from wildfires. They released this report Thursday morning saying urban sprawl is one of the main reasons 10 of California's 15 most destructive wildfires ever happened in the last four years. The report looked at recent fires in Ventura County, Paradise and Santa Rosa as examples. It says California needs to make it easier to build dense housing within existing city limits and harder to build on the edges. They also call for more spending on things like fire planning and thinning out overgrown vegetation. Olshansky says the savings from having fewer destructive fires would far outweigh the costs. There's the cost of, of putting out the fires, but all the, even the good things we talk about, the mitigation efforts, the, um, the home hardening, the, um, you know, all the planning you have to do for that, the preparedness you have to 